Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64. I forgot the name of the game for a little bit. Anyhow, we are finishing up winter this episode. We only have five days left of it, so it is incredibly doable for us to finish it. And who knows, we'll probably even t uh, get, play a little bit of spring. That would be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Anyhow. We've got a lot of uh, festivals to go through before spring happens, like there's one almost every night. So maybe this will be a bit more exciting than a few, uh, few others. Fast, cheap, sturdy for a home extension called the Mountain Carpenters. I could and did, and now I can't. My farm is perfect. There is no room for improvement. I have the perfect greenhouse. I've got the perfect grass fields. I guess I, not all my animals are giving the highest quality uh, products, but, you know, it's close enough. <laughs> I, I knew you guys were running a little low on seeds, so I decided to just give you some. Man, Jack's such a weirdo. <laughs> Seriously, if you knew somebody in real life who did everything that Jack did, like, you'd, you'd think he had some mental deficiencies, let's be honest. Which makes sense, because he's being controlled by someone else. Here you go, Kai. Go with the spirit. Wait. Wait, Wait what? <laughs> hey, that, what? <laughs> then what does that mean? <laughs> go with the spirit. Is, am I inviting her to be here with the spirit festival? Um, yes. Oh, the spirit festival. Of course I'll go with you. Let's do our best. Around 7 o'clock at the square, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that, <laughs> that made me laugh probably more than it should have, but the wording in this game is just perfect. <laughs> A plus on the script writing, everybody. Or maybe it's just the translation, I don't know. Hey! Hi, Artie, tomorrow is the Spirit Festival. Um, it most certainly is not. It is today. <laughs> Since you're the king this year, we'd like you to play the role of the Spirit. Is that okay? My pleasure. Good. Choose free helpers and come to the square so we can start after six. Well, goodbye. See you later. Hmm, okay. I gotta choose three of my closest friends. Obviously, my wife is one of them. But who else could I pick? I should pick, oh, I should pick the mayor and his wife. <laughs> that way it's just like the whole family is playing. I wonder if I could do that. If I can do that, I'm just totally going to do that. But it might be like, oh, you can only choose the bachelors or bachelorettes. Maybe I'll pick Harris. I feel bad for him. <laughs> I am not going to show off what happens when you pick every single helper possible. That would take forever. <laughs> and I honestly don't care that much anymore. <laughs> I wish Maria did push the organ out of the church up into the square, that would be hilarious. But I think the organ might be, like, bolted inside the church, that's entirely possible. I know, at my old church, the piano looked actually pretty similar to the organ in this, and you could roll it around. I think it was the, the standard church brand piano. <laughs> I've definitely seen multiple uh, versions of that in my days. It's not like a, oh, it was just like a one-of-a-kind piano. No, I'm pretty sure you can just buy them. In that brand, church brand. <laughs> Orthodox Presbyterian brand. <laughs> it's pretty common. Oh, uh, hi, I phased into a chicken. Yeah, no mail today. Can I invite everyone to be my helpers? I want the whole town to partake in this uh, heathen religion. <laughs> I'm quoting Civilization 4 there. I don't even know what this religion is, where it's like, well, it's kind of Christianity, but also not, because Jesus is not anywhere in the town? <laughs> oh, no, no. This this town's whole religion is very ambiguous and seems to just be borrowing bits and pieces of other religions. I mean, they mention God with a capital G, which is generally the Christian God. Oh, uh, hey, Ellie. Go with the spirit. Um, hmm. 
So I want... Oh, wait. No, hang on. Hee <laughs> hee. See you later. No, hang on. I gotta find the mayor and his wife and invite them. Come on, Artie. Get with the times. <laughs> Can I invite the minister? Oh, I can't. Oh, darn it. I bet it's only the bachelors and bachelorettes. Hey, top-notch programming there. Hi, mayor. No! Oh, I wanted the whole family to join it. All right. Well, then, sure, Ellie, you can you can join in. That's fine. Oh, I can't. I already said she can't. Oh, darn it. I should have made a save state before talking to her. Um, <laughs> here, Luigi. <laughs> here, I'm inviting you. Oh, a servant of the spirit? Okay, but uh, I don't think I can do well. <laughs> I don't care. I need Luigi at my festival. <laughs> and, uh, oh, the potion shop dealer. He's the, the seventh most eligible bachelor in town. <laughs> Grandma said that the year passed in a flash, but I thought it lasted for a long, long time. No, I'm going to do Harris. Harris, I feel bad. <laughs> it's okay. I'm no good, but I, I like the music very much. Okay, this is good. I, I accidentally said Ellie couldn't go because I talked to her at the wrong time, so I'm breeding her husband instead, so that works. And then I asked the guy whose girlfriend I stole from him. Actually, I didn't steal... They never were romantically involved. I didn't see any of the romantic scenes between them. <laughs> but I already have three people! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I already have three! <laughs> Can I invite everybody? <laughs> what would happen if I... I bet if I did that, it would just, like, overwrite the first person you asked, which is my wife. I'm obviously not gonna do that. My wife is coming to this festival. Oh, I hope the... I hope the... Uh, Jeff scenes. That would be amazing. Because I'm in the weird mask playing the ocarina. Oh, it'll probably be Maria scenes. What if you had all dudes? Which one of the dudes would sing? Because you have to have somebody singing, I think. Oh, darn it. Oh, I should ask Gray! Oh, oh. <laughs> I am... <laughs> oh, so much power has gone to my head. <laughs> I can ask as many people as I want, regardless. So, well, we'll see how this goes. Hey, hey, I'll make it a temporary safe state. Hey, dude, you <laughs> go with the spirit with me. Okay, but don't expect much. Does that mean I have three dudes? This is good. Okay, I can't. I can't wait. <laughs> this is gonna be the best spirit festival ever. <laughs> So I'm, j I'm just glad that this isn't boring anymore. Hey Maria, I actually asked three different people. Uh, <laughs> four different people. I asked Maria, I asked Jeff, I asked Harris. Oh, I should have asked Zach. <laughs> oh, I really hope it's an all dude band. That would be hilarious because last time I think it was all girls and then I guess me, but. Well, we'll see. <laughs> okay, my wife is not meeting me here. Okay, I'm going to the square. Herp a doop scoop. Herp a doop a doop a doop. I'm coming. I'm not late. A wizard arrives exactly as he when he intends. It's free dudes! <laughs> this is amazing. Who's gonna sing? Nobody sings. This is such a boring festival. Everyone's playing the ocarina. This is so boring. This is the worst spirit festival ever. need one person on ocarina, one person with the bell, one person with the whistle, and one person singing. I thought this would be cool, but it's not. <laughs> Alright, I'm not asking Gray. Forget that! <laughs> Gray, you're not coming with me. I'm getting my wife. Okay, yeah, so basically, it works the way I thought it did, basically. Where you ask somebody... And then if you ask, if you can ask three people, and then if you ask someone else, then the first person you ask will not show up. I'm counting on you. 
Yeah, you are. You can't have the Spirit Festival without Artie. Which is weird. Oh. I'm completely invisible. Wait. How come when I stop running, I stick out more? There I am. I'm totally invisible. No one will ever suspect a thing. Wait, Kai? Kai? I'm sorry, I did not ask Kai. I asked my wife. <laughs> okay, you know what? Forget this. I'm asking... Oh, I can't ask Poppery. And you're coming. Okay, but I don't know if I can help much. No, and we need more diversity. <laughs> I mean, I guess we get diversity if we ask Kai, but... Okay, what the heck? I asked Maria. Y you guys saw this, right? I did ask my wife. Let's ask her again. I can't ask her again. I just helped a bit with the housework at home. Okay, well, honey, I hope you don't mind, but I asked a different girl to help me out here. I asked, but I asked Maria. How come she didn't show up? What is a load of baloney? Come on, Karen. Don't go on it, Karen. You're never around when I need you. Please tell me she's in here. Is it the basement? No. Drat. I've been foiled again. I should have asked Rick. Because heaven knows Rick needs more to do in town. I shouldn't have said no to Ellie. We didn't see her in the... I could just reset the whole day by saving and quitting, but I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Anne's fine. Free ocarinas and a, a flute. Why did my wife not show up that time though? This is at least a better spirit festival. The flute adds a lot. Also, I've noticed Nintendo loves their ocarinas. Or maybe just, is that a Japanese instrument? Marty, I know you're watching, and I know you know Japan. Is the ocarina a Japanese instrument? It was a wonderful performance. I expected somebody else to show up, but it's a blessing on us all. Let's give the spirits another round of applause. Spirits didn't do anything. We did all the work. I don't know if today was a good day. <laughs> it, was, it was funny, at least. And that's all that really matters. We have a new baby. Come see us, Cliff and Anne. Oh my gosh, it happened. I will make a beeline for them once my farm chores are done. This is great. That baby was still born in... I'm gonna say 2017. Because the, <laughs> the year I'm recording this is 2018, and we still have one year left after this. <laughs> so I think that my final year, I will finish this Let's Play in 2018. Therefore, the final year of this Let's Play <laughs> is going to be 2018. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, let's see the new baby. He's probably going to be outside in the winter cold, because that's where Anne usually is. Oh, I think I'm here early. Well, let's go in the barn. Hey, Gray, you have anything different to say? No, you don't. He, you're an uncle now, and he's just like, whatever. I don't care. I don't act differently. There it is. <laughs> okay, Anne's still saying the, uh, the, <laughs> the same thing. Okay. Hey, Cliff. Hey, Artie. Did you see the new baby? Oh, wash your hands before you touch it. What's its name? I don't know its name. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. You didn't tell me anything. What the heck? <laughs> what a ripoff. Everyone, okay, like, only Cliff is like, oh yeah, we have a baby. It's like, well, thank you. That told me next to nothing. <laughs> Actually, that literally told me nothing, because I got a letter from them that said the same thing! <laughs> oh, 
How many pounds? How many ounces? I actually don't care about that. But I do kind of care about whether it's a boy or a girl. It's kind of an important detail. It's the last day of winter, finally! Soon, my diabolical plan will be in place. Let's go to church today. Look back at this year and prepare for the new year. You know, honey, I think we need to be going to church every Sunday. <laughs> Not just the special occasions, you know? So, I know that looked like I was throwing the cabbage at her face, but that is not what I was trying to do. I was trying to lovingly give it to her. Luckily, I've got a surplus of cabbage, so we're good. <laughs> out of the way, baby. I don't want to give it to him by mistake. Kids don't really like cabbage. Alright, well, it's finally, finally the New Year's uh, Eve festival. Or, actually, this, this is... And by the way, it's weird in this, where it's like, oh, winter's over, now it's the new year. It's like, oh, but, but in real life, you, you've still got two months of winter. Unless you live where I am, and then you've got, like, five months of winter left. I hate living up north. Oh, well, I don't hate living up north. I don't like the cold, though, so I would really, really like to move somewhere warmer. The year-round. I would take incredibly hot summers over incredibly cold winters. Admittedly, I could go to the bar tonight, but I am not I'm not repeating that from last year. Hi Anne. Hey, it's New Year's Eve and we're having a party at the bar tonight. Come join us. I mean, you're bringing the baby? Uh, that's weird. I want it to call me daddy soon. Daddy. How embarrassing. No, not daddy. That's the that's the weird one. <laughs> Our year, a ray of sunshine as always, Gray. Hmm. Hey, we know that your wife is, like, religious at all, but we're going to the bar. You should ditch your wife and come with us. Oh, uh, okay. Admittedly, I actually did that in an alternate dimension last year, but, you know. Harris, are you coming to church? <laughs> Actually, if I was in this town and I had the choice, I'd probably actually pick the bar. Because I don't... This is not my church! <laughs> this is not my religion. There's a New Year's Eve gathering tonight at church. People review the old year and greet the new. Maybe we'll just get together to have a party. Come to join us if you like. Will there be cake? It's an important question. Because I'm not coming unless there's cake. Well, actually, my wife's coming, so I have to do it. Blah! We know Karen and Kai are going to be at the bar. Karen can't do anything at the bar. Here, fish. <laughs> Get that. Karen can't do anything at the bar because she's pregnant. All right, time to end the new year with my wife. She's not here. She must already be at the church. That's not church. <laughs> That's not church. This is church. Oh, are you going home? Um, no. I literally just got here. <laughs> I hope you had a good year, and good luck next year, too. Reflecting back on the year. Well, there was a lot. Um, yeah, you, you kind of got married. Good evening. You'll never get anywhere if you worry over spilled milk. The minister told me so just now. You said that last year! <laughs> Good evening. My goal next year is to grow new flowers. Do you have a goal? Um, my goal is to finish this freaking Let's Play! <laughs> well, good luck! I'll be rooting for you. Thank you. I hope the next year will be good too. It will be. The bell will ring in the new year at midnight. Until then, I'm going to confess about this year's happenings. Everyone's <laughs> facing away from the minister. Good evening, please think deeply about next year's goals. I want to finish this Let's Play. Bam. Fought. Oh, are you going home? Yes! Okay, yes! Well, the New Year's Festival will take place at the square tomorrow. Happy New Year! Thank you, dude. Honey, let's go watch the sunrise of the New Year's Day. Where is our kid? 
I'm sorry, but did we get a babysitter? <laughs> Am I the only one worried about this? We have to watch the beginning of the year. Where's our child? Where's our son? <laughs> <sighs> How beautiful. Happy New Year, dearest. Aww. That line gets me every time. Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. And it's spring again. Now we're in year free again. Again? I've never been in year free before. Never. I did some weeding. It feels good to clean things up. Oh yeah, she can do the weeding again. That's pretty cool. My kid might be walking soon, actually. Because it feels like every early every new month he <laughs> he doesn't evolve. <laughs> but you, you, you get what I'm saying. You know, he grows up a little bit at the start of every month. Oh, that's the horse that won the last race. I think its name is Tobias. Uh, the last race was a while ago, dude. Oh, that horse that ran so well. It's a beautiful horse. Good luck next year. No, please, walk slower. It's not like I'm trying to do anything. <laughs> the horse race was in autumn. It's been a whole month. Why didn't they stop in the winter? Thank you for your business last year. We wish you happiness in the new year, the bakery master. Oh, sweet. Happy New Year, Kent and Stu. No mail today. I mean, not after the stuff I just checked, of course. Oh, and I don't have to store up eggs all the time now. Because guess what? We've got the flowers back, baby! I don't know what that voice was doing there, but, you know. I'm a weird guy. If, if you've reached this video, you, you know I'm weird by now. Because, let's be honest, who is going to start watching Harvest Moon episode 40 before anything else by this creator? If you are, if this is the first video of mine you have ever watched, please leave a comment explaining how in the world you got here. Oh, not the cows merging again. Get out. No, you stupid sheep. Get out. Now, I could put my cows and sheep back in the pasture, but... Actually, no, I couldn't, because the grass hasn't grown yet. I'm not putting my animals in the pasture until I'm about to end the game. Let's play. Which hopefully will only be a few episodes from now. I do love hearing the spring music again, though. Winter, the winter song is arguably my favorite, but all of these songs get a little old after you have a whole season of them blaring. Especially winter, because that music doesn't really turn off, even if it's bad weather. Also, I forget my chickens' names. We've got Doodle, of course, Helena, Chica, <laughs> Tammy... Otis and Big Red. Great names all around. A plus material. <laughs> also realized I didn't milk my cows. It's like, oh boy, it's the start of a new year. Immediately, all the snow melts. It's like, what are you talking about? We've had snow last until June, where I am. Because it's like, oh, well, the supermarket parking lots, they have to plow all that snow into like these giant piles. And because the piles are so giant, it takes forever for the sun to melt them. So they're still around even in the summer. I wonder if my 
alcohol tolerance is lowered at all. Well, we're gonna find out. <laughs> On to the drinking festival! I, I mean the New Year's Day festival. Which just happens to have a binge drinking contest. P perfectly reasonable. Perfectly reasonable, of course. Who's ready to binge drink? Alright. We're doing Karen first. Yeah, toast! Watch out, I'll drink you under the table! Hee <laughs> hee! You are pregnant! You should not be drinking! Oh, she, she's not drinking. I'm doing it all. Mmm, this is a great event. I get to drink as much as I want. Du -du 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 -du. Say, you can hold your liquor. Let's have another toast. Are you really swallowing all that? Okay, okay, another toast. Glug, 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 glug. You've got to exchange <laughs> greetings with other people too, you know. Cheers. Karen, you should not be getting intoxicated when you are pregnant. <laughs> no way. I give up. I can't drink anymore. Oh, great. She drank to her limit while she's pregnant. That, that, that's great. Okay. Um, Cliff, I left you for last the last time. Hey, cheers. I don't want to drink too much. Thank you, Cliff, for being responsible. Also, who's the designated driver? I get quarrelsome when I drink too much. I gotta go now. Okay. Only one drink, that is perfectly fine. You can still drive in that condition. Alright, don't make your, that creepy face at me. Don't overdo it, kid, but hey, let's toast a new year. Okay. If he makes that creepy face, like, I'm out. That is scarier than Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope we have another good year. Okay, thank you. I don't think I'm gonna talk to the potion shop dealer again if I don't have to. He's terrifying. Yana adults these days can't hold their liquor. Are you watching me? You guys aren't even talking to other people. I'm talking to everybody and drinking everybody under the table. And I haven't even drank anything in, the, in 2017. You can drink a lot for a young man. Hey Kai, I make wine so you won't outdrink me. I did last year, so clearly that logic is flawed. But Miss Karen might beat me. She already lost. Artie, you're a social person. Cheers. Th that's funny. I, I, only you've said that to me. Nobody in real life says, Wow, Artie, you are just such a social person. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm a hermit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he beat me. He beat me. <laughs> my, my tolerance wasn't high enough. Getting very sleepy. Oh, he passed out. Well, let's carry him to his house. He'll sober up in the morning. Today was fun, but it's back to work tomorrow. Okay, so I did need to build up my tolerance more. I guess as time passes and you don't drink, your tolerance goes down. That's good programming. All right. All right, that, that, that was pretty good. This ends this recording. Flowers are back. Yes. I've missed you, Moondrop Flowers. It's locked. Oh, it's Thursday. All right, that's cool. No one's around to stop me from stealing the flowers. I'm going for it. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Hey, long time. Good to see you again. Okay, he really liked that present, apparently. He's no longer asking me if I've gone fishing yet. Probably because I've caught, like, over 200 fish at this point. At least I better have, because that's what's needed for the evaluation. Okay. Oh! Oh! I can show off what happens if you show Karen a fish. I don't like this. Okay, that's not what I expected. I expected her to overreact a bit more. <laughs> that's okay. Here you go, Kai. Oh, thank you very much. I'll study and start again. Literally from the ground up. Well, isn't that nice? Choosing to stop growing crops on my farm was, like, the greatest decision I ever made. Great turnout. You have a good wife. Take good care of her. Thank you. I do it. Oh, it's you. How are you doing? Busy as always? Well, isn't he being friendly? 
The planning yeah. festival on the 8th, blah blah blah. Cool. Hey, Regis. Saw this bouquet of flowers and I was reminded of you. Oh, that's kind of weird. You noticed. Oh, well, that's something. I noticed what? <laughs> Are you talking about my alcohol tolerance drop? Yes, I, I did realize that because I passed out. I knew I should have stolen more wine from the, the Karen's family. I am a terrible person. Then again, if you've been watching the series up till now, you know that already. I literally named one of my videos I'm such a terrible person. Because <laughs> I really was. I'll visit there in the beginning of next month. Are you doing well? If you are not working seriously, you should help me with my job from Dad. Oh, yeah, that's the letters telling him that he's going to evaluate in early summer. And that's kind of the whole, like, split ending where, like, if you get the good ending, then it's like, you can play forever. And if it's like, you get the bad ending, then it's like, he's like, you gotta come back with me. If you get married, you won't get the bad ending, though. Yeah, at this point, I feel like I'm just super good friends with almost everybody. Maybe not Rick. And maybe not, like, the really one-off characters, like, the potion shop dealer. But, I mean, come on. It's gonna be pretty hard to be good friends with them, regardless. Rain is a godsend for crops, but not so good for grapes. Actually, dry places are better for grapes. Didn't know that. Thank you for the helpful fun fact, Kai. Bad plants like bad people. You can read it in their face. Take care with plants that look bad. How very stereotyping of you. Best wishes for the new year, Kai. Well, thank you, Kai. Very kind of you. Whoa. Check this out. It's like the horse is clipping into di a diagonal cut through the house. That's weird, but also cool. yoo -hoo, brother! Hey, brother, the sewing festival's tomorrow at the square. Why don't you come? I have to. I'm the king, again, even though I didn't want to be. Now I know why George Washington was the man who wouldn't be king. <laughs> Who would want to be the cane? The cane would, is a terrible job to have. Same with the president. Like, everyone hates you no matter what you do. <laughs> I think we have reached a point where me nonchalantly buying 99 fiends of chicken feed and spending, like, thousands of dollars there is just, like, a common occurrence. It's like, oh, yep, here's Jack. He needs chicken feed desperately, and this is the only way to get it. <laughs> I've got the monopoly on it. <laughs> this year's cane will now choose an assistant. Okay, well, we might as well have some fun. Don't you need an assistant? It's a great chance, so you should ask someone. Good luck, Kane. <laughs> now, Artie, you should choose a young girl. You mean, like, my wife? <laughs> Take a youngster. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> please choose someone else. What the heck? It's a special chance to ask a girl. Everyone's being so modest. Here, Cliff, you can come with me. Oh, I shouldn't have come. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, Cliff, come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Cliff chose me completely randomly out of the blue one time I played, so I figured I would return the favor. I'm gonna try to fly with everybody. <laughs> Just see if anything interesting happens. It's a nice view. Thank you. Well... Whatever. Wow! Did my wife even have any dialogue from last year? I can't remember. Here's Stu- or Kent, you can come. Well, okay, since you ask, I'll help you out. Let's go! Let's go! Mario! Yay! Wow! Great! Is that my house? I thought he didn't like heights. Maybe he's overcome his fear in the last two years. Good for him. Alright, Stu. No thanks, I've had my turn already. Oh, what a great kid! That is amazing. <laughs> what? Me? Okay, but... <laughs> Admittedly, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> 
I, look, I wanted a guy in a, like, suit. So you're the only guy who... suits my needs. <laughs> I feel tense, restless in the sky. Oh, it's too bad, man. <laughs> this is probably the only interesting part of Spring Year Free, is getting to do this. And it's this was something I probably should have done in year two. Hey, Gray, you're coming with me. Okay, I'll go with you. Let's go! Everyone in the balloon. Can I choose everyone? Can everyone pile in the balloon? <laughs> <coughs> You look like you want to say something. Never mind. Sow the seeds. You are a real charmer, you know that, Gray? I hope he's happily married. His demeanor hasn't changed at all. Okay, so here's the thing. If I ask Maria, will she be I've already had my turn. Okay, no, never mind. Um... May, you're coming for me. What? I can ride in the balloon? Yippee! Let's go. Aw, this is cute. May's probably always wanted to go in the balloon. Oh, this is so fun. I like you very much. Anything for you, May. Of course, this is just one possible timeline. Alright, um... Hmm. Oh, Kai! You're coming with me. Yes! I'll do my best! Oh, he's excited about that. Excellent. <laughs> Let's go! Come on, Kai. This will be awesome. Let's fly all the way to my hometown. <laughs> Am I just seeing him, him like just getting a vacation or something? <laughs> Maybe. Look at all those balloons. Okay, who's next, Harris? Oh, okay. Dude, I really do feel bad taking Maria from you. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, what a wonderful view. I wish I could show it to everybody. Don't worry, I will! Everybody who wants to go will get a ride in the balloon, just in a different dimension. That's how that works, right? Okay. Uh, let's see... Anne, you're coming with me. What? Me? Okay, but is it safe? Rick made that balloon. It won't fall, will it? This is really weird that I'm taking somebody else's wife into the hot air balloon. But hey, you know what? I gotta show it off. <laughs> I don't like heights. Oh, oh, I picked the wrong girl then. <laughs> Sorry, Anne. You could have refused. You could have refused. Whatever, uh, who's next? Uh, Poppery. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks for choosing me. It's a nice post. Let's go. You two stop holding hands. That's not cool. It's great! <laughs> that was probably the most generic thing you could have said, Poppery. Congratulations. No, I haven't forgotten about Karen. Okay. I want the mayor to go with me. This is literally going to be half the episode, just this part. I've gone through, like... 
10 days in this episode. Actually, way more than 10 days. And most of it's going to be spent on, like, one small part. The village is beautiful from up there. Do, 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 do. This is my least favorite of the festival themes. It's still good, though. Here, Ellie, you're coming for me. Hee <laughs> hee! I would be honored, sire. I'll do my best. D wow, Ellie! Let's go! She called me sire? Either this is the Middle Ages, or... Feminism is not a thing in this town. <laughs> This is so pleasant. I wish we could go farther. Well, if it makes you feel better, Ellie, if I didn't marry Maria, I probably would have married you. You or Anne. All great. Okay, Maria. What? M -m me <laughs> Yes, I'll go with you. Well, who else did you expect? You should have expected absolutely everybody, because I took absolutely everybody. Come on, it had to be my wife. We are so cute. Oh, what a nice view. Okay, never mind. That was probably the most generic thing you could have said. Actually, no, that's a little more specific than Poppery. She was just like, this is great. Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. And that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Part of me sa is saying that to m the next episode might be the last. Because honestly, there's really nothing else to show off in this game that I haven't already. Because the horse race we have... Oh, I guess the horse race I need to get the new stable. But that's pretty much it. And then the flower festival is probably going to be the same as usual. And then every day I'm just going to be doing tedious stuff, either fishing or giving people gifts that whose affections aren't quite at the maximum yet. And besides that, it's really just going to be super boring. Most likely, I'll have to record a ton of footage and only a little bit of it will be salvageable. So I'm pro... You know what I'm going to say? Next episode is going to be the last episode. And if it's a longer than average episode, it's a longer than average episode. It's the finale. I want to get this over with as soon as possible. Thank you all so much once again, and in the meantime, have a great day, and God bless next week.